12 per quarter, yeah. Pardon, hon? Oh, the, look at the mute button. There's a mute button on the cable there, like there. The mic's coming, yeah. He said he would be here. Oh, we are? Well, it's... Okay. Um, hello, everybody at home. Good afternoon. Um, hi, Abby. How are you? Hello, Derek. I'm doing well. How great. are you doing today? I'm, I'm great. I'm great. Um, looking forward to another beautiful day of lacrosse here uh, in beautiful, Mill Valley. Uh, it is a beautiful day um, after what has been a long winter it here has in been. I hear we are not quite done with the rain. I so did hear there's going to be more rain. You just every day, every time it's sunny, you think, oh, finally, it's we've over. Made, we've made it. We've made it. Um, we'll get there in the end. Uh, and we'll be happy for it when regular fire season comes around in the fall. That well, we that's true, isn't it? It's like the blessing or the curse. Exactly. Um, right I'd now it's a curse. It's a future blessing. I'd maybe take a little more rain. Regular rain, prevent fire season. Yes. You know, a little drizzle every now and again would be good for us. Yes. Um, all right. Uh, so we're back on our home field. We were here last week against Novato. And in the meantime, there's been a game against MC. Tough loss there. Oh, we've got Mike Fox joining the How broadcast team today. Uh, very exciting news for TAM TV um, and for all of our regular listeners. Um, uh, boosters have invested in a new soundboard that allows for four headsets. Oh, fantastic. So um, there's going to be... Even more color for the <laughs> folks at home. It's going to get colorful. <laughs> the team has just gone through the stick check, and you'll notice, I don't know if they can see the field at this point, but there are two goalies suited up today. We've got Morgan McLean starting in the goal. And Jamie ready to go in at uh, any moment? Yeah, I think that Jamie has been recovering from illness. Um, she's been recovering, and so great to see her suited back up. Um, let's see if she gets some minutes today. Um, what is it that she's recovering from? You know, uh, pertussis oh. or, or um, dengue fever, <laughs> or choose any of your various ailments Phil that you could have going Phil around town high right now. Yeah. Yes. Um, but she did play in the MC game, is that correct? She did. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's been up and down. Hopefully she's back to full health. Speaking of illnesses, Sarah Cormier is sitting out today. Uh, seems that she is also ill, but she is on the sidelines to cheer on her teammates. Good to see. Yeah, I think this. I heard that Sarah has had a uh, something nasty uh, um, uh, in her respiratory system, but she's not not quite fully fit yet. But great to see her here with the team. Um, you won't see this on the TAM TV broadcast, but the, the track and field coach is setting up the hurdles. We do like that because there's a great deal of peril involved in doing the hurdles. <laughs> and it can give uh, uh, us commentary team uh, something else to look at when the game is dead. Some entertainment. They're gearing up for a home track meet on Thursday. Marvelous. Not often that we host a track meet here. It's quite an undertaking. So... It's the second and final home meet of the season, I believe. And, and track meets are usually multiple schools, right? They are. Uh, the weekday track meets are league meets when three schools come together. And Kay. then on the weekends, they are open invitationals, sometimes dozens, sometimes many, many dozens of schools. Amazing. Um, uh, well, uh, just before we start here, just so you know, um, apologies to our Terra Lindens. Terra Lindens, do we think? I, uh, they are the Trojans. Um, can we hear you? Can you hear me? Hold on. Can we hear you? Hi. There, there we go. Oh, there we go. Uh, Mike Fox has joined the team. What's up, everybody? Hi, the Terra Linda Trojans and the Tam High Hawks. Terra, unfortunately, we did not manage to get hold of a, a roster for Terra Linda Trojans. I'm trying to get it from Max Preps right now, but we might be doing numbers for a little bit. Um, it's no disrespect, just um, administrative error. Yeah, they don't seem to have a scorekeeper here at the table either. Uh, I checked in to see if I could get one, but... Uh, we nobody. also have but one referee for today's game. Oh, it's bare bones out there. Um, you know. 
As with the Hawks, as we have some players traveling this week. We do. And it um, appears as we have... Hawks on tour. Hawks on tour. We've got the Hale Twins in Spain. So missing a key defender and a key attacker. And I just reached out to another Hawk alum to see if the Hales and the Harpers were going to tune in to watch TAM TV, and there's a possibility. Oh, okay. Oh, fantastic. All right, well. Um, it's around midnight there. Well, they're in Spain. Oh. Uh, guys, good news. I have a roster for, um, for oh, no, I don't. Oh, I do. I do. That's this year's. Sorry. We have a roster for for Terra Linda. Here okay. comes the additional referee. Oh, here we go. And nice we job, ref. Just about to start. Well, I maybe mean, you can look at the you just look at the traffic situation across the road. You see what the ref's been dealing with already. Yes. And uh, they're going to come into a high pressure lacrosse match. I mean, you can only imagine the things that everybody sacrifices for the ladies lacrosse. It's a lot. It's a lot. It is a lot. I like to see that our defense is huddling up there on the field, talking with our goalie, hopefully talking strategy before the game begins. Or maybe they're just chatting. Maybe they're Who just knows? chatting. Talking about spring break next week. Plans. You know, I did have a chance to check in with one of our captains, Rowie Scobie, and ask her a few questions before the game. And one of the questions I asked was, what – is she and other veterans on the team, what are they trying to share this year with the many freshmen? There's, it's such a young team. And she said they're really trying to share a sense of joy and fun in the game. So maybe they are just out there chatting and having fun. That's right. excellent. I thought you were going to say pertussis. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> it's all about fun. Uh, bringing the joy back to... Uh, the Hawks Nest. I think that's what we want. Yes, that's absolutely. Right. That's right. Let's keep it fun and easy. We got Carson Can on the opening draw, senior, co captain, heading to UCLA. Let's go, Bruins. Uh, congratulations, Carson. That's great news from this week. Fantastic. Her father, Mike Can, is on the uh, scoreboard on the field with Carson's stepdad, Adam Cole. So now they can both get some sleep. And we've got Tessa Cohen and Rowie Scobie on the circle. Bit of a scuffle. Not the cleanest start to the game, but Rowie Scobie comes up with that ground ball. Quick pass off to Kate Carvalho, who fed it to Brooklyn. Shot on goal, but... Good hustle by the goalie to get around the back there. Or was that Ellie McKenna? I think it was Ellie with I the shot. I think you're right. Um, yeah. Went a little wide of the goal. Uh, but great to see Ellie having a goal early on in the game. Hawks in white, and the Trojans from Terra Linda are in some colorful, uh, actually UCLA Bruin colors, white, yeah, blue, and yellow. I like those unis. The Hawks are coming in to this game in third place in MCALs. Third and place in MCALs? And I think so. Terra Linda's in sixth. Um, uh, great lead defend from Ellie. Quick pass she off to Brooklyn. Tessa Cohen. Terralina one and two in league play. Redwoods at the top. MC Tam is in third at three and two. Branson big game against Branson coming up, and we got San Marin in fifth and Terralina in sixth. There we go. Uh, super feed in there from Carson Can and Rui dispatches. First assist, great cut Stop feed. The clock. There we go. Uh, Get it together, Leach. Uh, Abby, what plans do you got for spring break? <laughs> uh, I am going to be heading to Palm Beach, Florida to visit Ooh. with a high school friend midweek. That sounds lovely. How about you? Uh, I'm taking our younger daughter to New York. Mm, okay. Fun. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. 
Okay, let's see if we can get a cleaner possession off our second draw. So, uh, and Rowie answers with a quick pickup. Uh, good control from Carson and draw control from Rowie. Oh, oh. Ellie's going to make it back there. Good clean up from Ellie McEvely. Derek, nice to be in the booth with you, buddy. Do you know, it's, uh, I haven't been here much um, for the home games due to other reasons, so it's been great to have TAM TV when I've been on work travels. Um, hand off to Ellie. It just feels right. You know, it's a, it's a happy place. Got the gang back together. <laughs> oh. And with, the, and with Abby, there. we actually have some expertise as well. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> At long last. Okay, once again using the sideline as their third defender, but a little bit of a push there, so Novato gets possession. Oh, I thought she stepped out of bounds, but the refs saw it differently, which is just fine. Now the refs are watching the elbows, see if she straightens. and well, She did see that. Beautiful weather today. Gorgeous. Oh, look at this triple team. Beautiful redefend. Great redefend from Tam. Yeah. Kind of Tam's given a lot of midfield pressure. They're Getting called for getting in the opponent's space, but they're in the right place at the right time. Oh, again, called with the push. But one thing that worked well there was that slide to help. <laughs> All right, we got a free shot for the Trojans from the eight, number seven. Oh, slips past Morgan. That was a nice shot. Low, low uh, shot. There you go. And the defense is conferring. Uh, what I was starting to say is before that foul was called, one thing that did work well was that slide to help. And I know in talking to uh, Coach Brian is – or was it when I was – well, someone this week told me. That's something they're working on is that – Abby, who you'd been talking to? I've been well, checking. Sounds like a lot of people. I've been trying to get some background info, trying to do my homework. But that slide to help on defense is key. So Morgan McLean is playing goalie today. Jamie is suited up, but Morgan is in at least for the first half, I think. Okay. Oh, first guest of the day, Mr. Casey Leach. Looks like he got a nice haircut after cool, his weekend see. away. Makes you feel better. How was the ski weekend? Oh, it was fruitful, Abby. Fruitful. Mm. Fruitful, ample, a <laughs> lot of snow. Good, good. Spacing out on the 12. That's another thing they've been working on on offense. Uh, that's going to be out on us. We got four 12 minute quarters. Rule change this year. If you guys haven't been tuning into TAM TV, we got seven minutes left in the first quarter. One to one. Turnover TL. We have a fourth headset here if you want to get involved. Hawks with the ball. Okay. Kate Carvalho bringing it down the field. Oh, gets a little shove. A little shove. bit of a bump there. Number seven needs to get behind her. There you go. Keep going, Kate. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Continuation. No need, no need for her to wait. Mm. Good cleanup from Hannah O'Kane there on that overpass. Oh, loose, oh, tur loose turnover by the Hawks. Bounds. Stop the clock. Uh, Offsides on blue. All right. 
Uh, uh, Terra Linda were a, a little too eager to get going there and unfortunately went off sites. Uh, so the ball will be returned to Tam. Okay. Ellie McEvely bringing it in with a pass to Kate Carvalho. She's oh. great save nice by, the goalie. by the goalie. Great save by the Trojans goalie. She clears out to the near side, number four. The goalies are really going to be, I mean, the refs are really going to be calling that. They have to watch their sticks on defense. She just called it twice in a row. That is a great, well, we, we just overheard Coach Brian telling his players that you have to adjust, not just in this sport or this particular game, you have to adjust to the way the refs are mm -hmm. calling the game. And this ref is calling it tight. Good defense by Rowie Scoey, number 25. Looked like just a turnover on the Trojans, but as you I mean, see it a little differently. Any kind of contact she's going to call as pushing. You're well, there was traffic. She just needs to, everyone needs to settle into the game. Both teams starting off a little slow, not being able to connect passes, but I'm sure the Hawks will settle in. Mm -hmm. Great defense oh, right there by Brooklyn. Oh, good defense Brooklyn. by Brooklyn, picked up by Mia Yalis. Lexi Pass Watts. Off to oh. A little loose with the ball. Turnover, Hawks. Went out of bounds there. Yeah, I agree with you, Mike. We need to settle things down here, kind of tighten up our passes, hold off on the body contact. Man. <laughs> well, Hawks fans, this is going to be a frustrating afternoon. Brooklyn's doing a great job of holding her body position. Ah, as soon as I said that, she got called for <laughs> a push. We're playing varsity lacrosse today, is that right? Uh, I think it's under eight's rec. <laughs> oh, stop. Stop. You know, every time you get a new set of refs, it's a new game. You just don't know how they're <laughs> going to call it. You know, depending on how this eight meter goes, it might be a wise timeout by the Lady Hawks. I was thinking the same, Mike. Coaches think alike, Abby. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Quick clear. Stop by Morgan, but I feel like one of our defenders might have gotten a stick in there as well to slow down that pass. There we go. Moves it across field. Oh, another oh. errant pass by the Hawks. Okay. There we go. There's a call the Hawks way. All right. Kate Carvalho bringing it down the field. Finds Ellie McEvely. Hannah O'Kane. Ready, just drive. Carson at her usual spot. At X. Looking for cutters. Nobody cutting. Are there. Oh. Okay. Good cleanup there by Ellie McEvely. There we oh, go. Oh, beautiful cut. Lovely, Carson. Carson can with the goal. First Tessa, of the day. Tessa Cullen with the assist. That was a beautiful assist. Oh, boy. 
Maybe we take a moment to list our starting lineup here. Uh, is, is it a test? Not a test. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just. It is CASP testing at the school this week. You're so right. This so is the like maybe kids this are doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's we maybe should like be up to it this All well. right. Okay. So we've we got in goal. We've got Morgan McLean in goal. All right. Uh, in on. Okay. Go ahead. No, no. Good. Take go. it away. Well, our defense is coming to the side, so it looks like we've got anchored by Andy Wa uh, Andy Kelly, our senior. Um, also on <coughs> defense, we've got Mia Yalis and Quinlan Dayton and Brooklyn Hatch. Oh, oh nice by Rowie Scobie off the draw from Carson. Already we've cleaned up the draw. Oh, there we go. Great there. shot. When That's the, what the Hawks do best. When the fast break works, it's a beautiful thing to see. That was Rowie feeding it to Kate Carvalho on the fast break. So it's interesting that we're talking about the lineup. We've got five people lined up on defense, which is not what you usually see. So we've pulled an extra player onto our defensive end. And now at midfield, we've got Tessa Cohen on the circle. We've I got Carson Can taking the draw. I think that's because Tessa's playing forward. So when this when they turn over here, mm -hmm. she, oh, is it Ca Carson? So we've only got three people on mm. offense starting. I like it. It's cautious. You know, I want to make sure your know, teams that don't lose goals don't lose games. <laughs> that's, what that's what they say. And then on offense, we've got Kate Carvalho, Ellie McEvely, and Hannah O'Kane. 3-1 Hawks, 90 seconds in the first quarter. Oh, nice check by Carson. Carson looks a little frustrated over there. Shake it off, CMC. I get it. Let's go, Brooklyn. Can Brooklyn come up with this ground ball? Oh, oh. And he calls it for Tara Linda. Amazing. Good hustle there by Quinlan. Great, save. Great save. save by Morgan. Quick clear. Here we go, Hawks. Number 14 in the middle of the field. Tessa Cohen. There we go. Move Mia finds Brooklyn. Oh. Lexi. Oh, 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 oh. oh, just in the nick of time, Lexi Watts keeps it in play for the Hawks. Take it to the hole, Rowie. Go. Look at the clock, right? Okay, 30, 30 seconds left. Oh, there, we, there go. we go. Beautiful feed to Rowie Scobie. Was that fed by Carson? The Carson, once again, yeah, really good feed. Good look. Head up by Carson. Her head is always up. Head up. 4-1. She's kind of stepped into the role that Andy Shine had last year, that uh, offensive player at X, always looking for the cutter. Good comparison. Leads like the that. team in assists. It's a, such a key role. Uh, I was speaking to Annie Shine's dad last night. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, How's he doing? Uh, Jeff Shine is doing just great. He is a bi-coastal uh, man these days living between... Schenectady? The Bay Area. <laughs> yeah, East Coast. Um, Annie's doing great at Maris. Uh, she's getting some playtime there, first team as a freshman. Great. Um, uh, she is having a ball. Great. Great to hear. Love to hear that. How far is Schenectady from the city? Uh, 47 minutes by train. <laughs> And draw control for the Hawks. Carson's taking it down the field. Let's get another one for the, there we Sees go. Sees Rowie, beautiful low shot. Um, that's Carson on a hat trick of assists. Bringing the score five to one with only 18 seconds left. That was great. Carson knew how much time was left. So mm -hmm. did Rowie, quick little goal. Clock aware as Mike Fox likes to say. Very so important. So important. Um, uh, all right, uh, Abby, I'll put you on the spot. Uh, home white or away blue? What's your preferred strip for the Hawks? Preferred uniform? We call them strips. Oh, the way it looks. 
Uh, I like the white. I think it's crisp. It's clean. It's classy. How about you? Uh, I'm a bit of a fan of the blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. And who decides that? I so think that's just true. Oh, uh, draw uh, control uh, from yeah, Tara good, Linda. Good draw control from number two there. I think that's just the way that's it usually least, goes, right? They can. For most teams, the lighter color for home. Well, uh, Iona did point this out. Sorry, listeners of home. Iona is, uh, you know, Tam, Tam TV editor who's not on uh, headphones. She did point out that the soccer team play blue at home. Oh, yeah. okay. They do. They do. Um, which I think is unacceptable. And unacceptable. We should have them, should unacceptable. Have them change it. <laughs> 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 you know, like there are you know people who have memory issues that that's going to struggle with that. Well, here we are at the break. I think this is a great time to ask our viewers at home, grandparents, parents on the road, fans of the Lady Hawks, drop us a line. Let us know yep. who you are and where you are. Uh, Iona Scobie is ready to answer your messages. I think, you know, I looked at the oh. broadcast of last week's home game, and we had something like... 100 views in the end. That's exciting. Okay, we've got seven live viewers. Abby, you say that every broadcast, and it always seems to be at least 150 plus. I didn't realize you had so many fans tuning in later. I was one of them. I rewatched the game over the weekend. How many times? <laughs> Only once. How well, many times did you rewatch it? I tend to watch them more than most. Really? But I don't know if it re. Does it count me as? Oh, do you get counted each time? I don't think so, actually. Uh, you do. So you get so for views, you get counted each time. Oh, okay. And then we also report on unique viewers, which we see through the studio. So we had a hundred viewers, but fifty of them were Mike Fox. That's yeah, true. that may be that may be true. Maybe um, that's why I'm sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get better. Got to improve. Uh, the Tam TV average is that about half the views are unique. Okay. And then usually I think what you'll get is you'll get a bit of a surge after a good game because the players will go back and watch their own like mm -hmm. cool plays. Um, if we've got a game that's later in the evening, we're going to catch up, get East Coast catch up the next day. And then, of course, we have um, Tam TV superfan Ewan McLaren, who's uh, based in Edinburgh, um, oh. who, 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 who does on occasion watch live at three in the morning. I don't think he's watching live today. I don't think he'll be watching live We haven't live heard from today. him. Um, and what sport gets most views? Football? Uh, football gets most views. Um, but basically, any team having a good run gets better views. Yeah. So, Fair uh, fans. Yeah, but, uh, well, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, nice. Basketball basketball does well because the gym gets too full. So oh, the Redwood game this in. year didn't go Tam's way, but it was absolutely full. There was, not, there was standing room only. And so we saw the views going up, and it was literally people standing in a car park. Oh, wow, that's great. TV. What a great service. We could have had a jumbotron going <laughs> and, you know, a well, tailgate, a, an alcohol-free tailgate. <laughs> I love that. That's fun. We have uh, our co-host, Derek Scobie. And well, the Scobie family to thank for that service. Um, okay, we're and now uh, up to eight viewers. None of them have yeah. sought to share their information. Um, and I just see huge props this season to Bill Graham, who's running uh, Tam TV for volleyball. Boys volleyball are having a good season, and they're doing great numbers on Tam TV. And Jonathan Harris, who has braved many of the elements through this wet winter uh, to give us swim meets. Oh wow! So I did thank see you that chaps. on Tam TV. Um, well, we might have the Carvalho grandparents watching from Hawaii, as they were last weekend. Love that. Nobody's responding. All right, they're well. You they're know what? incognito. I'm gonna give them their give them your phone number, Abby. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> Four one five. No, no, no. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Only people of a certain age will appreciate that phone number. Okay, Tara Linda takes possession at the beginning of the second quarter. There was so much japery there amongst the announcing crew. We, we missed what was happening, but in so oh, great turnover from Lexi. Um, uh, Terra Linda were awarded possession. There was no draw control, so I don't know if there was a false start or some other technical error. Lexi's going coast to coast. Lexi, who was playing offense last year and is key defender this year. Looks like Quinlan just moved up to play on the offensive side of the 35. Okay. First time today. 
Over to Carson on the near side of the field. Nope. Over to Quinlan, number 24, sophomore. Brooklyn holding back so that um, uh, Quinlan can go up. Okay, Carvalho at the point. Bobbles the pass. Collects it. Far side of the field. <coughs> to Quinlan. Decides to bring it out. Quinlan Wise decides choice. To hold that ball. Few cutters going through, oh. no one used. Hmm. Don't think he was expecting that pass. Um, I think she was uh, expecting something else to happen, but uh, well recovered. Is that a pick? I would like to see it a little more. Yeah. Now they're pulling, pulling out, out, spacing it out a bit more. I know that's something they've focused on lately. Oh, uh, three cutters through. Showing some patience, not forcing the passes. Oh, there's a beautiful pass. Oh, great and save by the goalie off her noggin. Shot by Ellie McEvely. <laughs> Post, head, whatever. Goalies, that's all a goalie's Whatever friend. it takes. Quadruple teamed on the sideline. Aaron passed by the Trojans, picked up by the Lady Hawks. Me always as well. She gets it to Lexi. There. Lexi finds a pass to Brooklyn Hatch, there threading it down the field. Hana Leach. Hana brings Leach. Oh, nice great. Ah, a shot by Hannah O'Kane, saved by the Tara Linda goalie, but we've recovered it. Yeah, well done, Hannah, for going after that save. Oh, good, Carson. S senior co-captain telling everybody just to slow it down. Good awareness by Carson. Let's go, Bruins. Take her, Carson. Oh, oh, good luck to Kate Carvalho. Unlucky. Not a shot on goal, so Tara Linda takes possession. Oh, oh. ball start by Tara Linda. Hawks hmm. ball behind the net. All right, we'll take it. Let's do it quickly here. And you step in. There you go, well done. Uh, Hawks JV team getting called for that a couple of times um, earlier this season, and they were just bewildered. They had no idea what they were being called uh -huh. for. So there was a there was a, a timeout just to make just sure that to everybody. Just the rule. Hawks got a case of the drops today. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I hear the JV team is having a special dinner tonight. I wouldn't say a special dinner, but like let's say a social mixer. A team bonding experience. Yeah, that's fun. Parents and parents players. And players. Oh, oh, nice. Nice oh, can't quite find a lane. Great dodge, though. Mm -hmm. They are displaying patience here. Okay. Pass to Hannah Leach. Picked up by Tara Linda. Errant pass by Tara Linda. Uh, Mia Yolas makes a great decision there not to go for that aerial. Talk. Okay. Andy Kelly comes up with it. Who's the hold? Who's the hold? Switches who's the hold? to her left. Who's going to help her? Quinlan Dayton's going to help her. That's right. Always there to help. Look at Tessa. Oh, good luck. Use your left. Oh, it's right there. Tessa brings it out. No shot on goal. Seven and change left, second quarter. 5 1, Lady Hawks. There's the pick. Oh, it's very clever, girl. <laughs> so one thing I learned. Oh, time out. Time out, Hawks. One thing I learned this week is something new that Coach Marlowe has brought to the team this year is really trying to um, 
instill communication and not relying on particular players to run plays on the offense, but just communication between them and seeing the opportunity when it avails it's availing themselves of the opportunity when they see it. Um, focusing on creativity. So maybe she's talking to them about that now. Maybe. The score is five to one with 640 left in the second quarter. You guys were talking about spring break earlier. When is spring break? Next week. Okay. Um, yeah, next week. I guess there's um, many folks in the Bay Area on spring break this week. Yeah. Some East Coasters on spring break this week. Yeah. As a daughter of a senior who is in an exchange program, I, my dates dates don't matter right, right now. Right. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm being told what's going on. And what do you hear from Spain? Um, I hear that um, sp sp they're trying their best to speak a lot of Spanish. Hola. Hola. Hola, <laughs> Harper. Um, and they're having a lot of fun. Great. Um, some of the girls went to a Real Madrid soccer game over the weekend. Amazing. Some of the gals went, uh, took a train to Barcelona for the weekend. Oh, cool. Uh, now they're back in Pamplona uh, with the Pamplonicas. That's what they are called, the, the students in Pamplona. Pamplonicas actually have spring break all week, and they have school next week, so oh, they're not, they, okay. don't have to, they don't have to follow their Pamplonica to school uh, this week, but next week they do. Okay. Iona and I have camped in Pamplona. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And how many years ago was that? Oh, a lot. Pre-children, pre-marriage. So you were not sleeping in the like same 18 tent? 18 years, maybe. Wow. We flew into Bilbao with a little tent, and we basically came from Bilbao and just like all the way buzzed along, um, and then we ended up uh, flying out of Barcelona. Excellent. And we just camped our way through. And you remember it fondly, Derek? Brilliant. Yeah. And yeah. Iona remembers it fondly as well. I mean, sleeping well, in a small tent. Well, we did get married afterwards, you know. so it couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> Fiona's having a great time in France. What city is she in? They are in Po, which is in the southwestern corner in the foothills of the Pyrenees. Ooh, lovely. So I got a beautiful picture from the house where she's staying with the Pyrenees in the distance. Wow. I, I learned that the French do celebrate April Fool's Day. They call it Fish Day. Oh. And everybody cuts out paper fish, and the goal is to stick it on someone's back without them realizing. Wow. Were we successful? I, you know, I did not hear that she had success with Fish Day. So, uh -huh. all right, we take back to the field. Did anybody have or play an April Fool's joke? Uh, I was told that the mood in the Scobie household was not appropriate for April Fool's <laughs> jokes yesterday. <laughs> so that'll tell, that'll tell you how CASP testing is going. <laughs> like. Okay, displaying some patience here, moving it around the 12. Well, my mother-in-law works on a ski mountain in Idaho, and I left her a voicemail pretending like I oh. was nice. oh. pretending like I was a traffic control tow truck operator and that her car was towed. <laughs> and I shared that with my wife and was immediately told to call back my mother-in-law and tell her I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, she was evidently on her way off the mountain to retrieve her oh car. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, that was a shot on goal by Ellie McEvely. Did not go in. Quinlan Dayton trying to go to goal. Finds Hannah Kane. What I have noticed here is that we have more than once oof, had one cutter at a time. So. That's not going to work out well. I think, uh, you know, awareness of what your teammates are doing is going to be key here. Yeah, but I think that comes from just being a few extra yards out, so mm -hmm. you've got more visibility. Yes. If they're if they're using that creativity strategy as opposed to set plays. Right. Carson can. Let's go, Carson. Free shot on goal here. Hmm. 
intercepted by Tara Linda. Good mid midfield defense. Mm, attempted check by Quinlan Dayton. <coughs> oh, oh, nice save by Morgan. Goalpost is your friend. Oh, I thought it was. I'd like to give her credit and say it was her foot. It still counts as a save. Andy Aaron Kelly Davis. comes up with it to Kate Carvalho. Good vision. Keep it spread out. Am I right in saying that we have not had any subs come in? Uh, no, in this second quarter. But um, I think that it's good. I think it's good to give like teams, you know, like Time lineups a chance to gel. Yeah, I think sometimes like all the switching around makes it hard to learn. Mm. Much. Mm -hmm. And Iona brings up the point, nor have we scored in, oh, and as soon as I said it, Quinlan proved me wrong. A goal by Quinlan Dayton nice in the second Quinlan, quarter. Nice goal for Quinlan, and I think that's another assist for Carson. Yeah. Oh, man, my score, my score here is all over the place. Derek's trying to keep stats I, for us. What can you share? I can't, I can't really. I can, I can probably tell you that I'm bad at keeping stats. You can I'm say that you've got we've a got lot of tally marks on the page. We've got three saves for Morgan. We've got four assists for Carson, one goal. Tessa has an assist. Andy has a ground ball. Quinlan has a goal. Rui has a three goals. Kate has a goal. Um, and we have, I think we only have two draw controls hmm. across the team. I think the draws have been scrappy overall, so... They have. Speaking of the draw, we've now got Brooklyn Hatch taking the draw. Let's go, Brooklyn. Um, so the ball is likely to go towards Kate Carvalho. She tends to pull the ball behind her when she draws, as opposed to Carson, who kind of pushes it forward. And, as promised, goes to Kate Carvalho. Get that ground ball. Kate as well there. This body between ball and oh, his foul. She may have hurt oh. her ankle there. Run. Run the clock. Okay, Kate resets there with her goggles. Go on, ready Kate. to go. Step on the gas. Let's Here go. Here comes the defense. Oh. It's a check to that the head. That was a rough check. I'm thinking that might be a yellow card. And there it is. So Tara Linda number seven is going to spend two minutes on the sideline. We'll be playing a player up, see if we can capitalize on this. What seems to be the hold up here? Uh, Tara Linda offsides. Um, I think that's good from the ref, making sure they get themselves offside, onside before they start. Kate to Quinlan. To Hanna. Think the Hawks gonna run a clock, run some clock, or try to run up the score? What do you think? Oh, great shot! Great high save. shot from Quinlan. Good save from the Tara Linda goalie. Push on Hanna Leach. Oh boy. All right, the ref is gonna make the move four meters away. Number 18 getting back on D, I like that. There's a drop ball, good pressure by the Hawks. Stay on her, Hanna. And that was Hannah O'Kane that you were giving a shout out to number 18. Uh oh, oh Lexi, watch. You can't push her in the back like that. Stop the clock. Yeah, that's a yelly. Just can't push in the back. 
it's yellow card. And so now the teams are at even strength for the remaining minute 48 of the half or about 15 second differential. I think it depends on the strength of the push. And they get a free position, even though it happened in like the 25. That doesn't seem right to me. It wasn't in the critical scoring area. That, I'm going to have to disagree with that call. All right. right. Morgan. Coach is yelling for Morgan to track it. That was Jamie. I love that. Oh, it is Jamie. Oh, Jamie nice is job, coaching Jamie. Morgan in the goal. Love to see that teamwork. She's telling her to track it and step to the ball. Yeah. There's a nice oh, job, Quinlan. Quinlan. Quinlan makes it happen that time. She was not going to give up. That brings the score to six to one with a minute and a half left in the second quarter. Seven. Seven to one. Seven to one. So Rowie's on the sideline. Who came in for Rowie? I missed a substitution. Is that is that how Hannah Leach ended up? Uh, Hannah Leach, um, yeah, came in. Yeah. Okay. And then Quinlan went on the circle. Okay, so we've got Carson back on the draw with Tessa Cohen and Quinlan Dayton on the circle. As we said, Car Carson tends to push it, so I'm guessing this might go towards Quinlan. We've got Taryn waiting to come in, number 10. And as promised, towards Quinlan. Oh, oh she was pushed in. We got called for early entry there, which means that our attacker came over the 35 yard line before we had possession. I think she was pushed. Goodness. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. Well done, Brooklyn. Brooklyn going after the ground ball. She comes up with it. Just go, Brooklyn. Just go. 45 seconds left. Let's go, Kate. Kate Carvalho. Clock aware. Switches hands. All the way, all the way, Kate. It's yep. This is when we need to pass it. There's no time to run it. 30 seconds. Shut. Oh. Quinlan switches to her left. Pulls out because she's quadruple teamed. Oh, season opening. Beautiful right, shot. That was a great field awareness by Quinlan. She was quadruple teamed, pulled out, saw an opening, and Top took shelf. it. Nice high shot. The score is eight to one, 25 seconds left. Now we're a uh, player down. Their player has gone back in. back to full strength. And Lexi we, and we have Lex. I think Lex is probably going to be out for the remainder of this quarter, I think. It does seem so. Okay. Let's see if Brooklyn gets this. Because I'm guessing it's going to go towards her. And she oh, does. Nice job, Brooklyn. Great. We need quick oh, passing. Yeah. Oh, beautiful pass to Kate yeah. Carvalho. All right, Brooklyn with the assist. Nice job. Great Kate draw control by Brooklyn. Great oh, yeah, awareness that Kate Carvalho was wide open. Nine beautiful shot by Kate. 17 seconds to go. So when the clock, if the Hawks or the Trojans get up by a 10-goal margin, that's a running clock. Um. Okay, uh, that was seven seconds for that goal. Let's see if we can squeeze another one in here before All right. half. Maybe the same Get play, e Carson to Brooklyn. An even 10 on the scoreboard. Come on, Brooklyn.
That was not above their heads, so they're going to have to take that draw again. 15 seconds left. Brooklyn nice job, gets Brooklyn. possession. Ten seconds. Clock is ticking down. Back to Kate again. Oh, oh no. Kate saw Hannah. It was. Oh. All right, I'll let him. Ellie McEvely fed it to Hannah Leach there at the end. Hannah took a shot, but no goal. So we end the half at nine to one. All right, we will be back in a minute.
Hello, fans. We are back. We are back. I'm going to put out another plea since we have a minute. Oh, yeah, we got some time. To our fans to let us know who you are and where you are. Love it. We'll give you a shout out on the air. Um, uh, well, so guys, uh, at halftime, Abby went in search of a hot dog. She hoped the snack shack was open, but there was none. <laughs> we just we need more fans in the actual stadium so that we can justify putting the snack shack. <laughs> All right, here we are, beginning of the third quarter. Uh, Tam Hawks lead the Terralinda Trojans by nine to one. And we've got Brooklyn Hatch taking the draw. Kate Carvalho on the circle and cannot see. Is that Rowie on the circle as well? Hard to get a good sight line. <coughs> It is Rowie, and she comes up with possession right away. Good clean start. Oh, wow. There we go. That is a great start to the quarter. Can uh, you piece that back together? Rowie got control, passed it to, it all happened so quickly. Well, we can, well, let's, let's take it to replay. Oh, let's take okay. it to replay. Okay, so we go, let's see. Uh, so Rowie gets the ball out here. I think that's Carson. It does look like Carson, Carson. but there was someone in between. Um, I am going to say it mm. was Hannah. Uh, Hannah, okay. Uh, so a great, great initial pass for Hannah. Um, and then mm -hmm. the Rowie and Carson matchup today has been fruitful. Pretty fruitful. Well, if that is any indication of how the second half is going to go. I feel good. I feel like we might go to a running clock with a 12, 10 point differential. I'd be happy with that because I, I had a chia bar uh, at halftime and I've got chia seeds in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is, you know. So you are in need of a toothpick or floss. Yes. Okay, midfield defense. Number seven, cutting our way through. Number seven is Mia Elkington for Terrell and the Trojans. <laughs> Mia Elkington with a free shot on goal, and she makes it. Answers with a quick goal for Tara Linda. That brings the score to 10 to two at the start of the third quarter. Little personnel change. We've got Quinlan Dayton on the circle now. Excuse me? Why did they have the goalie start with? Did they start with it? No? No. Just won the draw. Okay. No, we won the draw. Quinlan in pursuit. Picked up by Kay Carvalho. Carson with a long pass to Tessa Cohen. Incomplete. I was just checking in with the Tam Faithful in the stands. Who have we got out there today, Mike? There's a significant oh, amount of people. Beautiful defense by Tessa Cohen go guarding the goalie and uh, didn't intercept, but was able to get her stick in the way. Oh, great goal. Uh, Ellie McEvely into Hannah to bring up 11-2. And again, let's trace that back to where it began. It began with Tessa Cohen guarding the goalie. Yep. Good defense. Good point, Coach Abby. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we don't capture turnover cost turnovers in our stats, but there's a good you reason. Could start. There's a good reason you why could we do. start. Yeah. Add that to your tally mark sheet. I think there is a, a, gen a general sense amongst coaching staff that like we're trying not to capture like the negatives, but more like the positives. But yeah. So that is a positive. Well, I think it's more like soft, not get negative on the other on the uh, the other team. That was that's that was um, the input that I got when I was in a scorers table, furiously oh. filling in all the <laughs> check boxes I could. Okay. And I, I was told. Keep that it those, simple. Those ones were not required. All right, personnel change again. Rowie's back on the circle in pursuit. And she gets possession. Here we go, Rowie. Who will she see there? Finds Ellie McEvely. Look at that head up, Ellie. Finds Kate, Kate Carvalho uh, and yeah, a shot on there goal. There we go. Nice. See how Ellie kept her head up there? That was awesome. Mm -hmm. right. I love those dot to dot, just beautiful connections down the field. That makes the score 12 to 2, so we're going to have a running clock. Running clock. Looks like we have Hannah Leach coming in for Tessa Cohen. And that brings up Kate's hat trick for today. Nice job, Kate. Um, and the second of Ellie's assists. A little chill in the air. Lauren Townsend going in yes. for Mia Yalis. Freshman. Recent recruit from the JV team. Got some playing time last week against Novato. Speaking of JV, Tara Linda does not have a JV, so the JV team is going to play Redwood following this contest mm -hmm. today. Big matchup. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's a mad scramble. Oh, wow. Uh, Great well job by Ellie yeah, McEvely really there, coming up with that bobbled ball, keeping possession for the Hawks. Back to X with Carson Can. Nice. Cut by Rowley, but she was closely defended. Yeah, I yeah she was. Hannah trying to get back a redefend. Stay with her, Hannah. Oh, oh, come on. She's going to call Hannah for a yellow card. Yeah, for what? Hannah. I didn't see it that way. She raised her stick. I really didn't see her bring it down. I didn't see a chop. Nope, but. No or chop. Con or contact. No contact. We're no not body down contact. on the field, so we don't have the same angle as the ref. Oh, uh oh, number, number two, two, wide open. Good D by Quinlan Dayton. Quinlan is not going to give up. Help from Lauren Townsend. Okay, two. Nice job, deep. Number two, Natalie Jaworski with a high shot on goal. They'll wonder, keep possession because they were close. Related to Ron Jaworski. Ron Jaworski of the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, Eagles stink. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, she's in the she's crease. In the she's crease. In the crease. She's gonna, she was in the crease, but the ref is calling it on us for pushing her into the crease. She was already in the crease. I agree with you. We saw her feet. Oh, from up here in the hawk's nest at That's Sam right. Chapman Field. Hey, um, meet up for the blue guys. Looks like number seven, Mia Elkington, taking this free. No, it's not number seven. Oh. Oh, but sh she's in the crease. And, yeah. and he'll laugh. <laughs> I am confused. I did not think that goal would count because she followed into the crease. She's definitely followed into the crease. Uh, has there been a rule change that I am unaware uh, of? No, no, I don't think there has been. Well, there's yes, no nice. mistaking the fact she fell right into the crease. Hmm. Back to a nine goal differential. Who's in the crease? Brooklyn? Brooklyn, Brooklyn is, is on a circle. Uh, I'm just sorry, Brooklyn is um, on the draw. Hey, hey, what do you say the Cubs are going to win today? Get that draw. There we go. And nice job, Quinlan. Quinlan Dayton comes up with it. Oh, I think Rowie might be hurt. I think she's huh? fine. She shakes it off, she's got possession. Mm. Something, she fell. 
Okay, we're working around the offense. Hannah Leach is going to come in for Rowie Scobie, who seems to have gotten well, Hannah was in the box, hurt. so she's coming on even strength. The number 14 is coming in for Rowie. Okay, good call. Tessa Cohen. Tessa is on. Quinlan's with the ball. Set a pick. As if Hannah heard you. She set a pick. Shot. Oh. A shooting space, Plus coach? definitely shooting space. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I even know that. <laughs> Quinlan to Kate. Oh. Kate thinks better of it, runs it through. Don't. No, oh, no, no. no. no okay. Need, no need to force it. Yeah, Ellie was not expecting that pass. So Aaron that passed to by Tara Linda. Pick it up, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn comes up with it. <clears throat> Passes off to Ellie McEvely. Carson's got it behind the there goal. There we go. Sees Kate Carvalho. Shot. No. I think if you just fire that. Have they called shooting space once today? They, no, no they have space not. That is, oh, good catch by Kate. That is an interesting observation, Mike. Coach Mike. Coach Mike. <laughs> They're too busy calling pushing. They have no time to call shooting space. Go to the hole. Take her. Everybody get it. Oh, Brit the minute get caught there. Mm -hmm. Good patience here. Yep. Good job keeping it spread out behind the 12. Oh, yeah. Shot. I mean, just That take was it. a just cut by it. Hannah Kane. Or was it Hannah? Yeah. It was Hannah, and I think that she had an opening on the her top right. Again, yeah. Hannah, well this Hannah. time. Yeah, nice well and nice open. Job, With a nice low roller there. And Carson bringing up her sixth assist of the game. Wow. Well done, Hannah. She has an assist on almost 50% of the goals. That's well done. That's what captain does. That's what captains do. Riley Tukarski heading into the game. Let's go, Riley. Let's go, Riley. Uh, Robbie Scobie picking up her 87th turf burn of the season. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, her leg is 74% little black plastic nodules. <laughs> Pieces of old tire. <laughs> so, Riley Tukarski coming in for Ellie McEvely on oh. offense. Thirteen to three with three minutes and twenty seconds in the third quarter. Brooklyn's still taking the draw. We've got Quinlan back on the circle along with Kate Carvalho. See Sarah Cormier is not dressed today. What's her status? She has the flu or oh. Has had the flu and is now recovering, but like I think it's her, her rail so yeah, her and you could hear it in her voice. Oh, she got a little bit of a check Come as on. she made that pass. Kate Carvalho Whoa. comes up with it, gets pushed, continues to play. Riley Tukarski with her first touch of the game, I think. Oh, a little fake out there. Nice yeah, shot by Quinlan. Quinlan. You saw Quinlan and Kate plan that. Quinlan was giving Kate the, the signal before they ran that play. That's the creativity we're talking about. Creativity and fluidity on offense we've been talking about. I almost would like to see a, a, bit, of, a, a bit more of like a pick or a fake pick there. Like get in front of the defender and then roll. Mm-hmm. 
just to sort of set it a little more with a little more intention. Rowie Scoby just came back in. Quinlan taking a, a rest. I do think we've got um, we've got more road to travel in terms of like our driving play. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I think we need more in the locker on that front, and I think there's plenty of girls capable of it in the team. Yeah. 90 seconds, 14 to 3. Rowley comes up with the draw control. I, I'm, 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 my stats are done. Quickly off oh, to Hannah Brooklyn. Kane, to oh. Carson. Oh, nice. Oh, go. gorgeous. Gorgeous play. Carson or Rowley again. And, uh. and again, <laughs> Hannah O'Kane to Carson. So that was almost a replay of the first goal of this quarter. Uh, kudos to Brooklyn Hatch, who came steaming through the middle and was yeah. wide open. She was, um, was yeah, she had a really great space. In the last minute here of the third quarter, 15 to 3. So Thursday. We play at Branson. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a game, right? Oh. That's a really important game. Third, Carolina fourth, comes up third with place it. versus fourth place. Oh. Branson. Well, we need to wait to beat Branson because I think. Oh, oh goal shot. from Tara Linda. We thought that Morgan was only going to pay the first half in the goal, but she has remained in the goal during this third quarter. So maybe Jamie just got suited up to begin with for, like, to be one of the team. Right, to g give her coaching and her <coughs> cheering on the sideline. That brings us to the end of the third quarter with a score of 15-4. to four. Still no shout outs from our fans at home? Um, yeah, but realistically, I think that Tam need to get a result against uh, Branson, need to get a result against Samarin to make playoffs. Branson and Samarin play tomorrow. Let me double check that. There's still nine watching. Okay. No, sorry. Branson Ellie lost to Samarin. Oh, right. is watching. Okay. Murphy. Okay, we've got Ellie McEvely's grandmother watching from Cincinnati. Let's go Bengals. Uh, well, she'll have loved to see Ellie uh, with a great couple of assists in that last quarter. Absolutely. Nice job, Ellie. Ellie's a freshman. You might not think it to watch her play. From Cincinnati, you think? Uh, I don't know. Well, somebody she's from she's Cincinnati. in Cincinnati, but let's say from Cincinnati. From yeah, Cincinnati, not? yeah. Um, there was quite a funny jape on the sidelines last week when we were playing... Marin Catholic. Uh, okay. Marin Catholic scored a goal. Marin Catholic scored a goal, and somebody said, she's a freshman. And then somebody from the Tam side said, all of our players are freshmen. Ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> Which I thought was actually pretty funny. Well, there are times watching our team when it really is almost all freshmen running the offense. It's amazing. Like, uh, you know, think of that in, like, you know, the next four years, talent coming through. So N great. N nowhere but up. You know, they're all going to gel. Derek, have you been back to Scotland lately? Um, I have not been back to Scotland for a while. I will make it back to Scotland in the third week of July okay. um, in between some uh, international duty that Rowie has. Uh -huh. um, and, of course, I'll spend all that time with my mother every single moment. There will be no time spent on a golf course <laughs> at any moment <laughs> in the five days I'm there. And remind me again your favorite spot. Oh, if I'm going to, I mean, th my favorite spot. So we c I come from Fife, where St. Andrews is. It's the same size as Marin County, and it has more than 50 publicly accessible golf courses. Wow. Um, the, I mean, the best course I've played there is Kings Barnes, which is um, amazing. Really set up for, like, the American crowd, so some of the locals don't like it. But it used to be where my Boy Scout camp was. Oh, that's Literally, cool. Literally, that was uh, the, where we used to go camp. So that's that's great. Obviously, the old course is amazing. Yeah. Like, so historic. Um uh, and then there's a new place called Dumbarney Links uh, that is also catering to a similar kind of international crowd, um, but it's on a 
bit of the coastline that's really close to like the old industrial part of the state uh, of the county uh so i've got a bit of heart for that and that's going to be incredible in a few years time excellent what you might not have picked up in that discussion of scottish golf courses is that our own rowie scoby number 25 is playing for the scottish u19 team quite an honor quite an honor uh we are, we are very proud so they are do uh, they have an all uk tournament this yeah, summer is that right home internationals this weekend oh, oh it's this weekend yeah so spring break she'll head okay. off to, to to cardiff in wales oh really um and uh, on friday she'll play uh england she's gonna fly by herself iona scoby's gonna fly with her Oh. And uh, Tam TV's Tam TV's favourite international <laughs> fan, Ewan <laughs> McLaren's gonna <laughs> nice catch, Hannah. Okay, Hannah thinks oh. thinks better of taking the shot, clears it out. Rowie's got it at the top of the twelve. There we go. Carson looking for a feed to somebody. There it is to Tessa oh, Cohen. Tessa. Can't quite find the shot, but great work there from the team. Oh, good clean up by Rowie. Oh, finds Hannah Leach. Stay with it, Hannah. Well there Hannah. we go. Well done, Hannah. Bats it out of there. Nice and spread out here. Work in the clock. Ten minutes left in the game. Hawks up by 11. Let's make it 12. Carson. <laughs> Good catch by Brooklyn. Cut through the middle by Riley Tukarski. Oh. oh. That's going to go to Tara Linda. Oh. Oh, intercepted by Brooklyn Hatch. So, uh, no, that's well not. Tessa. That's Tessa Cohen. It's a good rule for all you young fans watching out there. That was a, a lob inbound pass from Tara Linda. In lacrosse, you never want to lob the ball. You want... You want firm, quick passes. Nice flat passes. Mm -hmm. Parabolas are not your friend in this no, area. They're not. Arrows, not rainbows, we said to the little ones. Oh, beautiful yeah, there we go. shot by Hanno Kane, fed by Carson Can, bringing her assists she's to. Sh assist machine. Oh, no oh, goal. Oh, dear. What is the call He's gonna here? He's going to give us a dangerous shot. Hmm. Do we watch it on replay when oh. he calls it back? I'm just so curious to see. Oh, she's saying the follow through was dangerous. Uh, come on. So despite the beautiful shot, Hannah O'Kane comes off with a yellow card. That's a tough call for the freshman. <laughs> we'll give it to her on the home score guard, mm -hmm. scorecard, though. Mm -hmm. uh, two goals already for Hannah today, though, so she can feel pretty good about that. Absolutely. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Referee.
All right. Well done, Morgan. Bounces wide yeah. of the goal. And Andy. Andy in pursuit. Andy. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> From our angle, it looked like Andy was closest to the ball, but well, refs are going to give it to Tara. Maybe Linda. the way Andy ran away from the play indicates that she had a better viewpoint. B better angle on it than we do. Oh, t turnover, TL. Let's go, team. They recoup possession, maybe. And no. it is a turnover. Oh, no. Good pressure from Brooklyn. That goes back to the parabolic pass. <laughs> yeah, parabolic passing. It sounds good, but it's not. <laughs> sounds fancy. Keep there it simple. Go. She keeps it in bounds. Well done, Carson. And keeps possession. And she's going to go to goal. Shot. And yeah. she's going to get it. Beautiful shot by Carson. Carson's like, I'm done giving you guys assists. Yeah. Let's just start popping Let's be yourself. selfish. Second goal for Carson today, and she brings up uh, nine points for the game. So is that two goals Bring and seven assists? Wow. Bringing the score to 16-4 to four with 6.50 left in the quarter. Are we still in the third quarter? No, we are in the fourth quarter. Okay, now. we're in the fourth quarter. I've lost all sense of time here in the hawk's nest it just shows your love and passion for the game that's right Abby. i'm living in the moment mike there's no other way to be that's right here's an interesting oh i was going to say interesting setup we've only got one person on the circle here comes kate carvalho to even things up uh brooklyn given direction of what she wants from kate on the circle would like to see that well, I see freshman Boston juniors around. That's right. That's always good. Oh, nice job, Tessa. Tessa. Nice job, Tessa. Nice get. All right. Tessa to Hannah O'Kane. Riley Tokarski at X. You got that, Brooklyn. Coach is calling for give and go. Give the ball and then go. Cut. Don't stand still after you've passed it. Oh, to Tessa Cohen right in front of the goal, but Tara Linda comes up with it. There's no point even trying to make that. Tough defense at the midfield. Oh, that was a good clean cut check. Who wants Let's go, ball? Brooklyn. Let's go, Brooklyn. Go, Brooklyn. She does not have it. Oh. oh, yeah. That's a head check. Get behind her. Yeah, get behind her. Go now. Go, Brooklyn. Go. Great effort by Brooklyn there, and it paid off. <coughs> Four minutes left in the game. Well, not only has Carson been a stat sheet stuffer, as we say, but she has played every minute of this game. I don't believe that she has stepped off the field. Well, that's great. She had to give up uh, a bunch of minutes early in the season because of her mock trial commitments. Um, so only fair. Good. She's well, she's getting the minutes in now. Yeah, and we need her. She's making things happen. Yeah. Probably MVP of the day. Oh, I would say. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice Beautiful job. Beautiful feed to and Hannah this time, O'Kane. Now Hannah brings up her hat trick. Keep it. <clears throat> so if this result holds, Hawks are going to move to 4-2, and two and we have... In MCAL. In MCAL, and we have, in the conference, we have Branson and San Marin remaining. Spring break is Stevenson and... They take... They take a and then Uni. 
They, uh, that's Archbishop Mitty. Archbishop Mitty. And they take it on the road to Santa Cruz, right, and beyond. Yeah, so Stevenson, I love so being a Scottish guy because it's, um, it's actually named after Robert Louis Stevenson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it's a boarding school. It's, uh, it's actually it's beautiful. It, back, it sits on the back of Spyglass Hill, which is by Pebble oh, Beach. Okay. That's why you love it. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Truth um, be told. <laughs> So big game Thursday at Branson at 4.30. Mm. The score is 17 to four with just two minutes left in the game. Good defense by Kate Carvalho. Good job by the ref swallowing that. Yes. Well, makeup. He was, uh, he was There's <laughs> the makeup. <laughs> I was listening. We spoke too soon. <laughs> Not a direct shot on goal. Oh, oh Kate almost, almost had an interception. Yeah, I feel like she might have run into the double team there. Not to be. Free shot for TL with a minute to go. <laughs> Stand strong, Morgan. Come to the end of the game. Here we go. She looks ready. Track the ball. Nice. And she does. Job, Morgan. Okay. Quick clear. Nice. That is something they've worked on this Here's week. Here's Lauren Mike. Townsend. Gets the Quick clears. ball out to... Hannah Leach cleans up there. Run a little clock. No reason. No reason. To Zoe Tokarski. Zoe Riley goes Tukarski. in. Oh, sorry, sorry. Younger sister of Zoe, Riley Tokarski. Saw Ca Carson peek at the clock. I, I, I'd rather she didn't peek at the clock as she was making her pass. <laughs> I think before or after is maybe like just <laughs> fine. Well, I think we've established today she can do it all. Yeah, she can. Derek, just, yeah. she can look <laughs> yeah, at the yeah, clock right. and pass. Oh. That's tries for a feed to high. Riley Tokarski. 15 seconds to go. go. Sideline is counting it down. Hannah 10, Leach. and Hannah Leach takes it in but does not take a shot. Four. Oh, and and that's I think it. that's it. That's going to be it. Good game. Go get your goalie. Go get your goalie. Great game. Morgan McLean played that whole game in the goal. All right, just as we're finishing here, guys, I want to say something that's going to like really anger the Mill Valley Heritage Society. But I think we should cut down this tree that in the late afternoon uh, hangs <laughs> over the tea sign. It's really bad for the broadcast. I realize it may be a heritage tree. It's been there for hundreds of years, but it's time to go. Things what? move you on. Know, it's I'm funny you say that because I just took a picture of it from up here, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's the exact shape of a beautiful redwood. And this the fact that Derek Scobie has offered to chop down the tree, not <laughs> any of any of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, well done, Tam. So, um, Tam TV, we can't wait to have you tune in for Seniors Day on April 18th at 4 p.m. against San Marin. And Day I would and like to last, take last game of the season. And I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for giving me uh, the chance to work TAM TV. This is my last broadcast oh. of the season. Did, did well. you get fired? Uh, Mike, <laughs> I'd rather not talk about okay, it. Okay, <laughs> fair enough, Coach. Again, if you want to reach out directly to Abby, it's 415 <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, love guys. you guys. Right. Love Thank you all. You. Thank Bye. you.